On December 21st, 2021, at 5 p.m. local time, a strong series of earthquakes began underneath the Geldingadalr volcano in Iceland. This volcano had famously erupted for six months from March to September of 2021, so it was a pleasant surprise to see the volcano seemingly reactivate. As the earthquake swarm continued, an orange glow even became visible at Geldingadalr's summit crater. Then, earthquake activity shifted towards a prominent lake on the peninsula. So, is an eruption imminent? How shallow is the magma at? This video will answer these two questions and discuss the ongoing unrest. Before I begin, I want to remind my audience that at this time, the Krishovik volcanic system, which Geldingadalr is a part of, is at an orange alert. It is thus recommended that you stay at least two kilometers away, if not further, from its center while seismic activity continues. At depth, the series of 19,000 earthquakes occurred due to the intrusion of a large dike of magma underlying the Geldingadalr volcano. This swarm started at around 12 kilometers in depth and quickly progressed to a depth of around 6 kilometers, where some of the magma moved in a horizontal manner along a similar orientation as what occurred before the March 2021 eruption. Over the next several days, magma continued to get shallower and shallower until it seemingly stopped at a depth of 2 kilometers beneath the volcano. Although earlier earthquake swarms occurred towards the southwest representing other stalled intrusions, the shallowest of the group occurred just slightly northeast of Geldingadalr. Due to the abundant shallow magma, an orange glow became visible at Geldingadalr's main crater. However, this glow was not directly due to the glow of magma in the underlying vent, but rather due to increased fumaroleate activity. The camera monitoring Geldingadalr, courtesy of MBL.is, sees both visible light and the infrared spectrum. Infrared light is not visible to the human eye, but is emitted by everything which is not at an absolute zero temperature. The hotter something is, the more infrared light it produces. Thus, the underlying magma has caused increased heat to be released from the fumaroles at Geldingadalr, which is what the camera is spotting. Also, increased gas emissions have become apparent as seen in this video which shows fumaroleate degassing. The pattern and amount of uplift surrounding this volcano is currently near identical to what was seen in March of 2021. Although since December 27th, ground deformation has dramatically decreased and even reverted slightly in the last 24 hours. This once again is evidence of a stalled intrusion of shallow magma. Although the intrusion of magma has seemingly stopped for now, the fact remains that there is still an incredibly shallow body of magma at a mere 2 kilometers depth. This won't cool overnight and will remain for years to come unless it is erupted. Thus, although an eruption is unlikely to occur today and is not imminent, a new eruption could occur with as little as an hour warning at some point in the next several months. An eventual eruption of some sort is likely during that time span, which would most likely begin at or northeast of Geldingadalr's main vent. As for why there were hundreds of earthquakes adjacent to a prominent lake on the Arikinines Peninsula, it was not due to a new intrusion of magma there. Rather, these earthquakes are triggered by the strain generated on the region from the magmatic earthquake swarm. Earthquakes around Geldingadalr deform the land slightly, causing increased strain to the east, which the localized earthquakes are representative of. If you wish to view the datasets and charts referenced in this video, they are regularly updated and linked in the video description. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.